Vlog number 144, Wednesday, April 17th, 2024, 8.07 a.m. Currently watching the Today Show as I usually do. I got three classes today. That starts at 10 o'clock, so I'll leave here at 9.40 at some point during the morning. I'm going to look up how to set up the tripod because I'm going to have to go in today because um, for the photo class today, this assignment that I'm doing is due on Wednesday. It doesn't say a certain time. Normally it says like Wednesday at 12 o'clock. It just says it's due on Wednesday. So maybe we're continuing to edit in class today. I don't know, but I have to have these videos done and I'm going to have to have that tripod. So I'm going to look up how to set it up because I tried last night and I failed miserably. It also doesn't look like it's very sunny outside, which is just terrific. But that's what's more than likely going to happen. I'm going to have to start doing some, maybe not, never mind. I'm not going to have dishes. What am I talking about? Lecture class, 10 o'clock, shouldn't be too hard. The writing class, it's it's a workshop day, but I don't have my, I don't even have my stuff done. And then after the writing class ends, I will go and set up the tripod and go do these photos. Come back, get like dish, get the dishes done and stuff, clean up, because there's people coming here. And I'll go back to the photo class, edit the video, and finally get to come back. And then Chucky's tonight, so that's a brief overview of the day. But right now, just gonna sit here Continue to watch the Today Show, and then maybe about nine o'clock or so, I'll try setting up this tripod. They're talking about this. I saw this on the news yesterday. You Montana. They never talk about Montana. This is so weird. Imagine you're sitting in traffic and there's just an elephant that walks across. <laughs> you don't see that every day. There's Town Pump. Man, this is like the first time I've ever talked about anything Montana on the news. That's so cool. All right, it's 8.16. I figured out how to get the legs out, but I'm struggling right now because I can't figure out how to... I don't know how I'm supposed to attach the camera or anything. She never went over any of this stuff, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And first off, I don't even think it's straight. It's kind of crooked for some reason. Okay, I'm, so I'm gonna try to attach the camera and see. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. All right, it's 8.29. I figured out how to put the camera on and move it side by side. But that doesn't matter because I need I need to move it up and down. I saw other people doing that. Is it snow? What? Are you? It hasn't snowed in like a month. Are you serious? Looks like my video is gonna be in the snow. Boy, April seventeenth and there's snow. Montana, everybody, Montana. I saw other people moving it up and down because which would tilt the camera, and I don't know how to do that. It just tilts side to side. Like I don't know how to tilt it up. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. The tutorial video told, said to do, this is how you move it up, but I can't figure that out. It just moves side to side. All right, it's 8.40, turn to the Thundermans because the Today Show is in pairs preparing for the Olympics, so it's not a normal show. I honestly cannot believe it outside right now. It hasn't snowed and I don't even know how long, two months? I did not expect there to be snow today. I mean, it's a lot of it too, look at that. I don't know why I didn't think of this. So this is straight. And then I was like, well, how do I, and then I was tilting it and I was like, well, how do I get it to tilt the other way? And then I was just thinking, this is tilting up like it needs to be. What if I just put the camera here and then tilt and move the camera and then it's facing up. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. But that might've been the problem solver. And if it is, I can just go in bed and sit, relax the rest of the night because that's how to do it. I hope. All right, it's 842. I think I've solved the problem. Straight camera. Camera straight, and then I can move it up like this. There we go. Problem solved. Hopefully I can set it up. Why is it keep moving? Why is it not stuck in place? Hopefully I can set this up later. Man, this might be the first ever video that has snow in it that she's done, because this, I can't believe there's snow. I really can't, but it is currently 8.42, so I'm gonna go sit in bed for another hour, put this camera away. Hopefully I can remember how to pick it, put it back up. And then I'll be off to the school at 9.40. All right, it's 9.44. It's time to head into the school. I'm gonna have to bring this bag with because I'm not gonna be able to come back. Gonna go to the lecture class, then the writing class, and then I'm just gonna stay and take the videos. Last time I take about an hour, so if we, it doesn't take much longer. It's still snowing out, which I'm just baffled by. I get to walk in the snow today. This thing is very heavy, this camera thing. I also have to take the trash down too. I'll do that when I get back. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, but no time to waste, time to head to the school. I don't want to do this today, but got to. Guys, it's 947. It is snowing heavily right now. You can't even see the M, which means how am I supposed to get these clips if there's snow and I can't see anything? This is going to be brutal. This thing is very heavy to carry as well. <sighs> Let's get to the school. I don't know how I'm supposed to get these done today. But if the weather affects me, I'm not, it's not my fault, right? Hopefully she sees that and 
I was gonna get you back on grade. All right, everybody, it's 102, just got back. That was unbelievable, what a day. So lecture class, I didn't even know what he talked about because I was doing something else on my phone. I was saying what, what the best bets were because I didn't get to earlier. So that's basically all I was doing all the first period, trying to figure out, okay, what's, what am I gonna pick? And it was really, really overwhelming me. But then I went to my writing class. I really should have skipped. There was only like four, there was like five people in class started. It ended up with like eight people total. Oh, I mean, all we did was just, it was just a workshop day. I mean, that's all it was. Got, everybody got done in like 30 minutes and we all just kind of sat there for 20 minutes. I sat there the entire hour because I had nothing to do. And then after it, I had to go outside in the snow. It was a blizzard and I started taking all the videos. Um, my camera was getting super wet and then the battery almost died as well. I thought I was gonna run out and it really panicked me. So I would take a, take a video and then close it and go to the next spot. And that took forever to do. And of course, right as I got done, the sun came out and it stopped snowing, of course, right as I got done. So it's pretty unfortunate, but I had that, that tripod that I carrying that bag destroyed my shoulder like a lot, but I'm back now for 40 minutes. There's a person coming at 1:45 today. So I got to clean up a little bit. That's what I'm probably going to be doing. I am going to sit on the couch though for about 10 minutes, just kind of relaxing. Cause I, I've been doing stuff way too long. Start cleaning up, taking the garbage down. I will do that when I leave, you know, just cleaning up, do, I'll do the dishes real quick. I will move from the couch at 110 to start doing all that stuff and then I'll leave around 140. All right guys, it's 1.30, I'm gonna leave early. Somebody just came, knocked on the door. Some guy came in, it was the tour, it was the showing, but the guy was just like, he, I felt like he was like nervous or something because he felt rushed. He was, he was just like, oh, I just wanna see where the window was at. He was gone in like 15 seconds. So he didn't really do a tour or anything. He was just like, I just wanna see where the windows are and stuff like that, so. I don't know, uh, the lady said she's got one more coming, but I'm gonna leave now just cause I have to, I gotta edit the thing for, my uh, photo class, so I'm gonna go do that now, hopefully. What I'm hoping what will happen is she'll talk for the first part of it, the class, and then like make, let us work. That way, if I'm done with the work, I come back early. I don't know why I turned it to NBA TV, but I'm gonna leave now. One more class to go. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my hat on. It stopped snowing, which is good. Get a head on out of here though. And I'll be back around like what, three, 35 maybe. All right, it's 4.04, just got back. Daily wager is on right now till five. Gonna go sit on the couch and then once it comes to commercial break, I'll tell you what I did and why I'm late. All right, it's 4.08, it's not a commercial, but they're starting to talk about the Bulls-Hawks game. So I'm, I don't wanna listen to what they say because they're gonna pick the Hawks. I can already guarantee, even though we've won the season series. Money is of course, how about that? 71% of the tickets are on Hawks plus the points. But 54% is on the Bulls. You don't see that very often on Daily Wager where it goes against each other. I have a feeling they're going to put plus 3.5. I know Anita Marks a lot is that. I guarantee so will Joe Forenbaugh. Let's see. Um, but I'm muting it now. Um, I made, while I'm making for dinner, a Roma pizza. So I preheat the oven. I told you. I absolutely told you. It doesn't matter what you do in the regular season. Joe got it wrong yesterday. He's going to get it wrong again today. We're at home, aren't we? Man. Nobody likes my teams for some reason. Even though it never works, Joe Forenbaugh went the other way yesterday, and how did that go? Good job, Joe. Uh, making aroma pizza, preheat to the oven. Honestly, it takes 10 more minutes to preheat, and then I'll put the pizza in for six minutes, and then that will be done. The Mariners are up five to one. This is actually the perfect time to turn it back. They have the bases loaded with two outs. They're up five to one. Full count. Oh, I'm unmuting this. I, I lost the remote. Where's the remote? I, how do I? Oh, it's in my pocket. Three, two count right in the middle of the plate. He pops it up. Man, ever since Jonathan Classe got called up, the Mariners have looked a whole lot better. They won game one against the Reds, won game two, and now up five to one. Could really break this thing open here. Full count. Outside. No! That is... Uh, are you serious, Ump? Really? This is exactly why I cannot stand Umps. That is absolute garbage. And now I don't know what I just did to the TV. Great, now the TV doesn't work. Why did it turn off? All right, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing now. I'm already talking way too much for some reason, but I got to class way earlier. I was like one of the first people in there. I, there was like 10 minutes left before class started. I started editing the thing that I did, the Gibson project, and it took a really long time. I got done with it about 3.15, so it took the almost entire hour. But right as I was about to export it, something was going on where it only said I recorded for one second and I kept exporting a video that was only one second long and it, I didn't know why. So I had to stay after class and, a, and ask her that question, but she was like helping everybody else. So I didn't get my question answered until it was like 
What is this developing story? Are they going to talk about the guy that got... They are going to talk about it. I was waiting for this. Chante Porter has been banned from the NBA. I could not wait to watch this because I want... I mean, oh, wow. He bet on his own team to lose. You do that, you're gone. I don't even care. You are gone. You can't do that, man. Are you that dumb, man? They always bring this guy. The only time this guy makes an appearance on ESPN Bet Live is when something like this happens. I just find that funny. All right, now that that story's over, what I was saying is she was talking with everybody else, so she didn't get to answer my question until like 3.40. And apparently I had like this in clip that was one second. I accidentally did it. I don't know when. They're going to talk about the Lakers and Nuggets. Everybody's going to be like, oh, Nuggets win. Good thing Anita Marks is not on because she absolutely loves the Nuggets for some reason. There was like this one second in clip that I accidentally did. So when I was going to export it, it was just doing that part for some reason. And I could not figure out why it was doing that. She, she figured it out in like two minutes, so it was kind of disappointing. But after that, turned in the assignment, and then I walked over, and that's why I was late. So I know I've talked a long, long time, but I'm going to go sit on the couch. Once the pizza's done, I'll eat it while I'm watching Daily Wager. It's Chucky Day, but unfortunately, it's going to be a tough decision because the Bulls-Hawks play in the playing game at 7.30. Chucky starts at 8, so it's like, what am I supposed to watch? Do I watch the Bulls and just wait Chucky tomorrow, or do I watch Chucky now? I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Minus 400. Oh man, the longest odds in first round in LeBron James career. It's time for me to mute it because they're going to talk about it and they're going to go all off on the Nuggets. Say how the Lakers have no chance. Seems to be what they do a lot. Yeah, I'm not going to listen to one word these people say. I know the Lakers more than likely don't have a chance. I mean, you just haven't seen them do it yet. All right, it's 428. Just turned it on to the Mariners game for the final out. How about this? The Cincinnati Reds, Ellie De La Cruz hit a home run in the top of the second. That is the only hit the Cincinnati Reds have all day. One hit and it's a homer. That is it. There's the pitching we all thought was going to come from this Mariners team. Best rotation in the game. Down 0-2. Man, giving up one hit? One hit? What a dominant pitching showing. Even more impressive, only two base runners all game long. Only one walk. One homer and one walk. What separates this from a perfect game? Come on, Both. Let's go. Throw it in the zone. Got him! One hit for the Cincinnati Reds all day. Pitching was absolutely spectacular today. And the Mariners have swept the Cincinnati Reds. They're now 9 and 10. Three straight wins for the Mariners. Here we go. The pitching is getting much, much better. Mariners give up one hit all game long. They win it 5 to 1. The pizza should be done in about two minutes, although it doesn't look like it. Good win, Mariners. Mariners win 5-1 and sweep the Cincinnati Reds. One hit. What a dominant pitching performance. Turn it back to ESPN Bet Live and it's commercial. All right, it's 4.40. Here is the dinner for Wednesday, April 17, 2024. A Roma cheese pizza and some Shasta orange. Pelicans went 5-0 and versus the Kings this season, but they just said Zion Williamson is not going to be playing. Wow. Brett Favre. All right, it's 5 o'clock. Daily Wager just ended. I got done with the pizza about 10 minutes ago, but continued watching Daily Wager on the couch. It's now time to play the rest of my MLB game. I think I'm in like the fifth inning, so I might just play all five innings and then take a shower. That's more than likely what I'm going to do. Joe Morgan just absolutely annihilated a baseball. Deep to straightaway center field. That's one of the longest homers I've hit all year long. In the deepest part of the field, it just kept going and going and going. And it's gone. 7-1 Mariners. That was absolutely crushed. Look at this, just straight away center field. How long did that one go? It's 528, that's gonna do it for game number four. Bob Gibson pitches seven. I'm gonna make this quick because I just found out I somehow don't have any storage space. Bob Gibson, it's 528, Bob Gibson shuts things down. One run, seven innings, a roll this Chapman, two shutout innings. The Mariners win it seven to one. I'm now going to move over to the bed and continue editing vlogs because apparently I'm out of storage space, which is just horrific. I'm going to do that till 6 o'clock, then I'll take a shower. Sixer fans are booing the hometown 76ers. They're down 11 to the Miami Heat. Make it 9. They're not going to boo about that. It's 6.03 right now. I know I said I was going to take a shower. I'm actually going to finish editing the vlog. It could be till 6.30. But I'm really nervous that I'm not going to have enough storage space, so I might as well get the vlog done now and instead of waiting and recording more and more.
All right, it's 6.37, just got done editing the vlog. It was 26 minutes long. It was the vlog where Jimmy Fallon had Preacher Lawson. Very, very cool. Just sat there for an hour editing that vlog. I'm now gonna take a shower. Then once I get done, it'll probably be seven o'clock and I'll begin the night. All right, it's 7.41. It has been a crazy, crazy night. I went into the shower at about 6.50. And I started taking a shower, but then my uncle called me because apparently he's coming here to do my assignment. This Saturday, I was planning to drive to Haver to do the assignment there, but he called me. That blindsided me. That was like a 10-minute call. Then I called my parents for 20 minutes trying to figure out why he called me. And then I went back in the shower, and by now, I mean, I mean, now it's already 7.40. Chucky comes on in 18 minutes. Philadelphia, as you can see, has come back from down. They were down big early. They're now up 105, 100. Miami will play... The winner of the Bulls and Raptors, not Raptors. Who are we? Why? Are we, who are we playing? The Hawks. Bulls, Hawks game. Put my Bulls jersey on. Gonna make popcorn. This game. Somehow the Bulls game hasn't started yet, so I didn't miss anything. So that's great. I found out that Chucky comes on again at eleven o'clock, so I'm gonna watch that one instead. That way I can watch all the Bulls game and all of Chucky in the same night. Right now though, gonna make popcorn. Get the night started. Welcome to Chicago, Illinois. It's the Chicago Bulls and the Atlanta Hawks. Let's go, Bulls. Your favorite nobody on Daily Wager thinks you're going to win this game. Go prove everybody wrong. It's the Bulls and the Hawks. I'm going to watch this the rest of the night. Ends at 10 o'clock. Then I'll watch the news. And then I'll find something to watch till 11 o'clock. And then Shucky will begin. But first, it's the Bulls and the Hawks in the NBA play-in tournament. Winner of this game will go on to play the Miami Heat Friday at 5 o'clock. Hopefully that is the Chicago Bulls. All right, it's 7.54. Just made the popcorn moved into the bed. I got a ton of snacks. Oreo cakes, there's Cosmic Brownie, cheese crackers, Pringles, white cheddar cheese. It's, I don't have a drink. Got to get up now and get one. I have a purple Powerade in there. I'm also going to put this in the fridge. That way I can drink that later. Normally, I'd be really, really excited right now because Chucky starts in five minutes. Not tonight. I'm watching the Chicago Bulls game. Watch Chucky at 11 o'clock. Hopefully there's no like spoilers that come out because I'm going to be so mad if that happens. I guess I just shouldn't look at like social media or anything, but I'm gonna continue to edit videos because I have to get caught up. Apparently I'm out of storage space. I don't want to just run out of storage space one day and I'm not able to, I just have to, F. okay, calm down. This is why the vlogs go long. I just ramble on about this stuff. Watching the Bulls game, gonna go get something to drink. Eat my popcorn, enjoy the night. I'll update you after the end of the first quarter. Dalen Terry slams it in the Bulls. What a first quarter three. Missed it. The Bulls are up by 18 after one. 16-2 run for Chicago. And they lead it 40-22 to after one. The United Center is going crazy. I am missing Chucky right now. But right now, I do not care. The Bulls looking really, really good through one quarter. They lead by 18. All right, it's 8.47 halftime. Bulls just made a three. But their lead is gone. 18-point lead for the Chicago Bulls. It's down to six. DeRozan's got 18 points. Kobe White with 17. Shantae Murray's got 23. And Clint Capella's got 16. Bulls, they blow the lead, but they're still in front. Chicago leads it 73-67 after one half of action. The United Center is rocking again. And the Bulls are back up by 18 just like that. Oh, man, this is exciting. The Bulls look like they're going to be playing the Miami Heat for a chance to go to the playoffs. Wow, back up by 18, go the Bulls. It's 9.33, the Bulls lead it by 19. One quarter away from a matchup with the Miami Heat to make it to the NBA playoffs. It's 9.48, the Bulls now lead by 21. Kobe White has 37 points. Bulls are about eight minutes away from punching their ticket to play the Miami Heat. How about that? The Bulls and Heat split the regular season. So, of course, you remember last year's playing game. Miami defeated us in this exact same situation. So, it's, oh, man, this is going to be a great game between the Heat and the Bulls. Kobe White having a career night. He's got 40, 40 points. Kobe White now with 42 points. What a game. Kobe White, man. And once again, Joe Forenbaugh, what are you doing, man? Picked against the Lakers last night. You lost. Picked for some reason, picked against the Bulls tonight. Bulls going to win by 20. Stay away from the NBA for a while. You're struggling right now. And that's going to do it. Kobe White, 42 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists. 
And that does it. The Chicago Bulls are moving on. They play Miami for the eighth seed on Friday, the second straight year that's going to happen. Chicago wins it 131-116. Drive home safe, Chicago. Beep, beep. I did not forget the phrase. What a win. Kobe White just went absolutely crazy today. 42 points. They could not stop him today. Bulls won it by 15. It's 10.04. I'm going to continue sitting on the bed. I took a little break from editing. I'm going to continue editing now. The next vlog for one hour until 11 o'clock. And then at 11 o'clock, I'll move over to the couch, eat some ice cream, eat some frosting, and enjoy Chucky. It's the second most behind Jason Tatum's 50 in play-in game history. Kobe White sends the Bulls to play the Miami Heat. I remember when this guy got drafted as like the seventh player. I was really excited about it from North Carolina. His career high, 42 points. That was impressive, Kobe White. That was impressive. Now we're gonna watch sports under the rest of the night. There's the bracket, five o'clock Friday night. Number nine, Chicago, number eight, Miami. For one final time, the Bulls win at 131, 116. Kobe White with 42 points. Nice win, Chicago. Drive home state, beep, beep. All right, it's 1028, still editing the video for another 30 minutes. Didn't know what to watch, but luckily there's an answer. Grown ups too for the rest of the night until 11 o'clock. And then Chucky will begin at 11. That's absolutely perfect. It's 11 o'clock. Here comes Chucky. They're doing the recap. Time to move over to the couch. Watch this till midnight. I got all my snacks over here. Ice cream, cherry frosting, a cosmic brownie, some flavored water. Let's watch some Chucky. I'm excited to see what happens. As I did last week, every commercial break, I'll update you on what happened. Here we go. Let's watch some Chucky. Here we go. There's his phrase. Chucky did it. Oh, yes. Oh, this is off to a fantastic start. We're three minutes in. How about this Chucky intro? What is this? This is a map of the world. Are these nukes going off? Oh, oh man. What an intro so far. Oh, I'm excited for this. They're going to Chicago to see her sister. You know what that means. They're going back to where it all began. Child's play took place in Chicago. I'm not going to continue to pick up the camera, but I'm really excited. I'm really enjoying this so far. All right, commercial number one. It's been really, really good so far. I'm just so excited. I'm, I, I'm, this is my favorite TV series of all time. And based on last episode, we already know Chucky has the nukes codes. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm super, super excited for what's to come. It was a body double. Oh, man. You can't get rid of Devin Sawa that easy. You can't get rid of him that easy. He's still there. All right, it's 1121 commercial number two. It's hard to recap everything that's happened, but it's it looks, it's, it's really good so far. Really good so far. The main trio just arrived at the White House, and Chucky used the phrase you saw in the trailer. Everyone loves a good sequel. Don't you? It's about to go down. Oh no, Chucky's got a gun, oh no. It's about to go down now. Finally telling him the truth. Finally. Is Chucky about to kill Devin Sawa twice in two episodes? Going for the nukes? Oh man, come on. There was a lot of information in that section of the episode. Now Chucky's got a gun to the fake Devin Sawa, the fake president. Chucky, you gonna do this again? I'm pretty sure there's only four episodes of this. So honestly, we're almost done. We're already halfway through, which is why I don't like when they have this big of a break because it's like, it's finally back, but it's only back for like a month and then it's over again. All right, this has nothing to do with Chucky, but they're playing a commercial for Team USA. This might be the greatest USA team of all time. They are absolutely stacked. Here comes Chucky. And there's the first kill of the episode. Killing the security guard. Chucky is going all out. I have a bad feeling one of these main cast members is gonna die, I don't know why. They're coming down the elevator right now. Chucky's got a gun, oh no. Is this about to be the end? Oh man, this is getting so unbelievably good. Chucky is doing what Tiffany told him to do. He is going out in a blaze of glory. He is just killing everybody in his path right now. Oh man, this is good. Is Chucky about to bomb Russia? Are you kidding me in the North Pole too? Whoa! Whoa! No! 
Is that it for Chucky? No, there's still two episodes left. Is he faking? Oh man. They're revoking it all. No! <laughs> no! No! They just bombed the North Pole! Oh! Oh, no, he just bombed the North Pole! Whoa! Whoa, what's this? Is Chucky gone? He always comes back. We're not gonna have two more episodes of Chucky without actual Chucky, no way! They're panning over to where nobody is. There he is! What? He's a ghost now! Oh, oh, oh man! They don't see him. That's actually Brad Dorif! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh man! Chucky is a ghost! And he's still causing havoc in the White House! Oh, what an episode! What an episode! Now I want next week to come! Oh! Alright everybody, that's gonna do it for the vlog. I don't want- I'm not gonna record anymore. I might turn into Impractical Jokers just to kind of wrap up the night. Oh man, that was- that was- Epic. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. It's going to take a while to get over that. Wow. Chucky is a ghost. Brad Dourif has returned. Oh, that was awesome. <sighs> See you guys tomorrow.